What's going on, Arizona sports fan family? Thank you so very much for tuning back in. I really do appreciate it. Now, today, it seems like the free agent market has opened up. Now, the beginning of the NFL New Year starts this coming Wednesday, and I really did think that that is when we're going to start getting the big news of the players that are going to be signing with another team. But that's not what's happening here. It seems like we're already getting reports from other teams signing big free agents that are available uh, to pick up this year. The Arizona Cardinals have made some moves today, but they're going to be players that were already with the organization that were signing back on. That's what we're going to dive into today, guys. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Guys, welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, I wanted to talk about some players that the Arizona Cardinals have re-signed back into the Cardinals organization. There's a total of five different players out there that they're re-signing to come back on a future contract. Um, there's a couple of them that I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Um, I get it depth um, and there's also some players that I'm really excited about to have them come back and being in a Cardinal uniform so let's first off starting by uh, talking about Ezekiel Turner now this guy I, I feel like I, I hear his name a lot when it comes to special teams obviously he's a primarily uh, a special team player but I know he's really good for special teams so bringing him in um, really helps out our special teams which I'm completely cool with obviously it's not a big name that a lot of people like to talk about but nevertheless it's still some depth it's still a player within our special teams that does make some impact so there's that Next player I want to talk about is none other than Kylie Fitz um, he has been with the organization for I believe one to two years also another player that's not a big name but I know he has gotten some reps during preseason and um, he does play the outside linebacking role Obviously, he doesn't get a lot of snaps because we have Chandler Jones. Hassan Reddick was pretty much doing a lot of it last year. So there's that as well. But he also did sign back with the Arizona Cardinals. All right, now let's move on to the uh, three players that I'm really excited about here. The first one is going to be none other than Andy Lee, our punter. Yes, he's getting up there in age, but I really do like what I've seen from him. Um, he's still pretty consistent. He can definitely pin one, you know, within the 10, within the 20, as long as, you know, just really depending on field position. But uh, he's getting up there in age, but he did sign a contract with the Arizona Cardinals as well. I'm happy with it. Honestly, a reliable punter is really hard to find, and he's still one of the best in my eyes. Obviously, I'm going to be a little biased. I'm definitely going to be a little biased, but still, Andy Lee is definitely a reliable, reliable punter. Super happy he's coming back into the Arizona Cardinals. And now the final two that I want to talk about. First off, let's go ahead and talk about Dennis Gardick. My goodness, Dennis the Barbarian is coming back to the Arizona Cardinals. I know there's a couple different YouTubers reaching out to me trying to get some inside scoop on Dennis Gardick. Are we going to sign him? Or are we not going to sign him? Because if we did it, he most likely would hit the free agent market. He's not going to get a big, big contract out there, but he definitely did enough to kind of Put his name out there, and I think that's what a lot of teams were looking into getting. Uh, getting an outside, you know, linebacker that's basically able to rush the passer, uh, something that everybody's looking for, and he would definitely have been a player to get on the cheap. But the Arizona Cardinals did lock him down, so I'm actually really happy about this. Um, definitely excited to see to see his dance like he's been doing. Um, I, I love when he does a dance. I know a lot of people were kind of giving him flack for that, but you know that's him. That's absolutely Dennis Gardick in a nutshell. So keep doing what you're doing, guy, because honestly, we see you out here. The diehard Arizona Cardinal fans are really excited to see you back. And of course, last but not least, none other than Marcus Golden. Now, I'm actually very, very surprised about Marcus Golden coming back because I really do think that it was a decision between the, uh, you know, the front office. They were going to either go with Marcus Golden or they were going to go with Hassan Reddick. And I thought Hassan Reddick was going to take the sweepstakes and getting signed to the Cardinals, and that's not the case here. But honestly, I'm not mad. I love Marcus Golden. I love the junkyard dog. Um, he definitely wants to be here with the Arizona Cardinals, and I think that is definitely something that our front office really wants. Players that are committed to the game of football, players that want to be here in the organization, and that bleed red figuratively and literally. But I honestly do think... Um, I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy that the Junkyard Dog is coming back. Uh, Marcus Golding, I, I still remember getting him in the third round in, in a draft that we ended up getting him. And he was definitely one of the surprising players that I was really sad about when we ended up losing him in free agency. But obviously last year we got him back to the Arizona Cardinals for a draft pick and he is coming back for another two years. Now, this is the player, uh, Marcus Golden is the only player that I know of the contract. If you guys know the contract of anybody else, definitely let me know in the comments below. But Marcus Golden signed a two-year deal. So we have him for this year and we have him for the 2022 season. Now we signed him for a $9 million uh, deal. Don't really know the details in what matters, but I do know 
our contract or our cap for the 2021 uh, free agency market has now dwindled down. Now, I don't think it's by that much. I think we still have a little bit over 10 plus million dollars to spend, which isn't a lot. Absolutely, it's not a lot of money, but I'm really excited about the, you know, the re-signings here. Um, obviously, like I mentioned a little earlier, Kylie Fitz and Ezekiel Turner. It's cool. I like it. I have no problem with it, but Dennis Gardick, absolutely amazing. Super, super excited to see his dance again. Uh, Marcus Golden wants to be here, so why the heck not bring him back? I'm right there with you. And obviously, Andy Lee, still a reliable punter. Uh, so that's just more of a, a fuel to his fire here. So those are the, the latest five signings for the Arizona Cardinals for this free agency so far. We have not quite hit the big, big splash play yet, but I do think something is coming. I do think something is coming here for the Arizona Cardinals, but keep your post notification bell on and make sure that you are aware when the next video drops. All right, guys, I will see you later.